Hello and welcome to Drama Recaps. Today we will delve into the 2023 American fantasy comedy film named, Barbie. Spoilers ahead. Our story kicks off with a nostalgic advert. Once upon a time, kids only had baby dolls for entertainment. But monotony took its toll until Mattel introduced a game changer, Barbie. She wasn't just any doll, she could take on any profession, be it an astronaut or a doctor. Children were smitten, and the baby dolls took a back seat. Set in the picturesque Barbie land, these dolls enjoyed a utopian existence. But not all was rosy. The Kens, compared to Barbie, led a rather monotonous life, often relying on Barbie for their happiness. Amidst them, a lonesome figure named Alan stood out. Ken, on the other hand, was often seen showcasing his prowess to woo Barbie, sometimes even clashing with rival Kens for her attention. During an exhilarating night party at Barbie's mansion, tensions flared as Ken's jealousy peaked seeing Barbie dance with another Ken. Amidst the jubilation, Barbie threw a curveball, pondering aloud about mortality. Though it baffled the Barbies, the mood was soon restored. Post the gala, Ken wished to spend the night at Barbie's, but she declined. However, the next day wasn't quite the same for Barbie. Unusual happenings marked her day, foul breath, unpalatable food, and oddly cold water. And for once, her iconic hovering heels touched the beach sand. Troubled, Barbie discussed these anomalies with her counterparts, who advised her to seek answers from the weird Barbie. This particular Barbie wasn't always this way, but her real-world experiences with a harsh owner transformed her. When consulted, Weird Barbie discerned that Barbie had inadvertently bridged the gap between Barbie land and the real world. Weird Barbie had a theory that each Barbie had a unique tie to a child in the real world. She believed that maybe her unusual feelings were linked to a child who was going through a tough time. Feeling a responsibility to set things right, Barbie bravely set her sights on the real world, hoping to uplift the child's spirits and in turn, rediscover her own joy. To her surprise, mid-journey, she found out Ken had discreetly joined her adventure, eager to be part of the real-world experience. They landed on the sunny shores of California. This world was vastly different from their familiar Barbie land. Here, men would often turn their heads to admire weird Barbie, while women seemed to find her amusingly out of place. In Barbie land, weird Barbie reigned supreme, but here, she felt out of her element. Conversely, Ken reveled in a world where men seemed to have the upper hand. A misadventure led them to borrow some clothes, which unfortunately got them detained by local authorities. As Weird Barbie pondered about the child tethered to her essence, she began noticing the patriarchal tendencies of this new world, contrasting starkly with Barbie Land's dynamics. Memories began flooding back, hinting at a little girl, Sasha, who grew into a teenager, possibly leading to her current melancholic state. Elsewhere, at the headquarters of the Mattel company, renowned for producing Barbie dolls, the CEO, Mr. Mattel, was informed of an unusual incident, a Barbie had made an escape to the real world. He was astounded. He knew of Barbie land as a parallel dimension linked to the real world and realized the gravity of the situation. It was imperative that weird Barbie be returned to Barbie land to prevent further complications. Upon reaching a school, the duo finally encountered Sasha. To Sasha and her peers, Weird Barbie represented an unrealistic ideal, causing many young girls to feel inadequate in comparison. Heartbroken by this revelation, Weird Barbie was left devastated. In the meantime, Ken, ever curious about male dominance, couldn't resist borrowing a few library books on the topic. Ken's attempts at finding employment in the real world met with consistent rejection. As Barbie wrestled with her emotions, Mr. Mattel's men captured her. From a distance, Ken witnessed her capture, and he started concocting a plan to return to Barbie land. Sasha and her mother Gloria inadvertently saw the abduction unfold as they were on their way. Before long, Barbie was brought to the Mattel headquarters. Mr. Mattel was swift in telling her that her return to normalcy would require her to be boxed up. Before being placed inside, Barbie, believing that the company's leader was a woman, expressed her wish to meet her. Using the excuse of needing the restroom, Barbie made a run for it, fearing exile. 
In a serene room, Barbie encountered an elderly woman seated in solitude. The interaction was a revelation for Barbie, who learned that the real world wasn't as she had pictured it. Fatefully, Gloria found Barbie and took her under her wing. It was then revealed that Gloria, dealing with her own sadness, would often interact with her old Barbie doll and sketch melancholic illustrations. These memories were what Barbie had seen all along. With Mr. Mattel hot on their trail, Barbie proposed a trip to Barbie land. Mr. Mattel, understanding that Barbie might have taken Gloria and Sasha there, realized the urgency to follow to prevent further complications. Upon reaching, it was evident that the balance had tipped in Ken's favor. In Barbie's absence, Ken had seized her residence, renaming it Mojo Dojo Casa House, which, ironically, had gained popularity in the real world. The entirety of Barbie land now bore Ken's imprint, with the Ken's ruling, and the Barbies rendered subservient. Ken confessed his newfound sense of empowerment and purpose in the real world, starkly contrasted with his sentiments in Barbie land, where he felt overshadowed and dismissed by Barbie. This shift in dynamics allowed Barbie to experience the feelings of being sidelined, akin to how Ken had felt in the past. Acting out of wounded pride, Ken discarded all of Barbie's outfits, deepening her distress. Blaming Gloria for the chaos, Barbie failed to recognize the actual reasons behind the upheaval. This emotional turmoil transcended dimensions, manifesting in the real world as advertisements featuring Barbies with visibly sorrowful expressions. In a world turned upside down, the enigmatic weird Barbie approached the original Barbie. Concurrently, Gloria and Sasha were frantically seeking a way back to reality. During this tumult, Alan slipped into the fray, driven by his disdain for the overwhelming presence of the Kens in Barbie land. Their escape plan faced a major hurdle when they encountered the chem workers constructing a barricade around Barbie land. In a surprising twist, Alan's prowess overwhelmed the Kens, opening a window of opportunity for Sasha to return and help Barbie. Weird Barbie worked tirelessly, urging the other Barbies to reconnect with their original lives. When Gloria, Sasha, and Alan reached Weird Barbie's abode, a revelation awaited, Weird Barbie had been a cherished toy of Gloria during her younger days. Gloria's heartfelt discourse on the complexities of womanhood resonated deeply, pulling Barbie and writer Barbie from their despair, igniting a reawakening. To reclaim their homeland, they had to unite all Barbies and curtail the overwhelming influence of the Kens. The plan was ingenious, to momentarily distract the Kens, allowing them to rouse the Barbies. Gradually, they managed to bring the Barbies to their senses. Their strategy was to win the Ken's trust, offering partnership and companionship. This heartwarming gesture culminated in an intense four-hour serenade by the Kens to the Barbies. The subsequent phase involved the Barbies swapping partners, inciting jealousy among the Kens and sparking off brawls that, quite unexpectedly, took the form of a musical. In a poignant turn, the Kens discerned their shared predicament, leading to reconciliation. The Barbies, meanwhile, had orchestrated a stellar comeback, reclaiming Barbie land. The sight left Ken dejected, and in a tender moment, Barbie consoled him. Ken's epiphany was profound, leadership came with its burdens, and he yearned for a simpler, more authentic existence with Barbie. The aura of the moment was intensified by Mr. Mattel's acknowledgement of the challenges of leadership. President Barbie championed equality, suggesting a harmonious coexistence between Barbies and Kens. Gloria's plea for Barbie to embrace ordinariness and gender equality added another layer to the unfolding narrative. In a climactic revelation, the elderly woman Barbie had met earlier emerged as Ruth, the genius behind the creation of the Barbie doll. Her vision had been deliberate, and she commended Barbie for setting things right. Barbie's introspection led her to yearn for a genuine human existence, to be a cherished family member. As the tale drew to its conclusion, a transformative moment ensued. Holding Ruth's hand, Barbie felt a surge of emotions, experiences of countless individuals. This transcendental experience morphed Barbie into a real human. Her new life began with Gloria's family, contributing meaningfully to society through her role at a company.